guys, it's Jessica, and I am here, I look kind of crazy, I know, to do a tutorial on this eye look. It's really simple, and if that's something you're interested, keep on watching. If not, X out, and I'll catch you in the next video. So, excuse my hair, it's wet, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull it back and get it out of the way here so you can see my face. Um, I'll go ahead and tell you, I've done everything on my face. Um, on my lips, I am wearing a combination of this Flower Beauty, Flower, yeah, Beauty, Kiss Stick Luxury Lip Color in Petal Kiss. And it just looks like that. And then over the top of it, I have Revlon's um, Color Burst in Peony. And I bought this on the recommendation of uh, Beauty Moxie, Kristen. Um, she said this was like NARS Orgasm in a bottle in a liquid form, I guess, lip gloss, and it is, it is so beautiful, so, yeah, definitely check that out, um, if you haven't, uh, if you don't have it, or you haven't seen it, it's a beautiful color, and it's a, I like the formula pretty well, too, so, we're gonna go ahead and just jump right in, if you have any other questions about what's on my face, go ahead and leave the comments in the down bar, and I will be glad to answer that. Okay, so I started with just a base. Um, I just used the L'Oreal True Match in N123 Fair Light. Um, and I just blended that out. And then I'm going to use this L'Oreal Color Riche Quad in Cup of Joe. And they're all matte colors, so that's really nice. So I'm going to go in with my uh, Sonia, not Sonia Kashuk. My Samantha Chapman Real Techniques uh, Domed Shadow Brush. And I'm going to just pick up this uh, second color and, and I'm going to just tap that off. And then I'm just going to run that through the crease and just kind of do windshield wiper motions and then I kind of like just uh, circular motions. And that can be pretty sloppy doesn't really matter much. Okay. So that's what that looks like and it just kind of gives your eye some dimension. So. Alright, now that I have that done, I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild uh, Petal Pusher Palette and I'm going to use this e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. It's just like a little flat shader brush. And I'm going to go in and pick up this uh, color on this side, the brow bone color. It's just a really pretty like lilac color. So I'm going to get that and then I'm just going to pat that all over the lid. And as you can see it's just a really pretty lilac color. And I like to pull my eye taut because it just really packs on that color as you can see like right there and I'm actually going to go back in and just put a little bit more over there. Okay, then I like to go back with this brush and just kind of blend out any of those harsh edges so that the colors blend in seamlessly. And hopefully I'm in the view finder. Let's see. There we go. Sorry to move you. <laughs> okay. Alright, so then it just looks like that. And then I'm going to go back into this Petal Pusher palette and grab the other side that is the brow bone. And I'm just going to use another Real Techniques brush. This one is the base eyeshadow brush. And it just looks like that. And I'm going to pick that up. And I'm just going to place that on the brow bone and then I just kind of like to work that above where we put that crease color just so those colors blend in well. And I'm also going to grab that again and place that on the inner tear duct as a tear duct highlight. Okay, and then I like to go in with a clean shader brush. This is just from Revlon and then just kind of work that and make sure all the colors are blended nicely. Okay. Alright. That is 
the, it for that part of the eye. Now I'm going to attempt to put on winged eyeliner on camera without completely messing up. Uh, this was a nightmare on this side. So we're going to go ahead and try this. I'm just using the L'Oreal, if I can hold on to anything, uh, lacquer liner, 24 hour in blackest black and it just looks like that. I'm sure you guys have all seen it. And I just use this, uh, it's an Eco Tools angled eyeliner brush. So, and that's what I'm gonna put that on with. So hopefully you guys can see me. <laughs> I'm gonna try to stay in view here. <sighs> Sorry. Okay. I don't like to go all the way into my tear duct, so I just bring it like right there and then just small strokes all the way to the edge like so and I just like to go back and make sure the line's not janky <laughs> okay and then I pick up a little bit more and I just kind of pull my eye top back like that and I start at the inner corner and drag my wing up. So, like that. Then you always want to check and make sure you're coming out about as far as your other side. And then I pick up just a tiny bit more, pull it again, and then I just kind of connect right here and slide it in. Then just fill in that hole. And then I just go back and I tilt the brush the opposite way and just kind of flick that wing out. And then just go back in as necessary and fix anything. Then you always want to just check to make sure your wings look pretty even. And as far as I can tell, they do. Okay. So now we're going to move on to the next part. That wasn't that bad. Um, I just took this L'Oreal Carbon Black Extra Intense Liquid Liner Pencil. I absolutely love this for the waterline. It is so soft and creamy. I hate it when they drag and pull on your tight line in your waterline. So I'm going to go ahead and tight line this really quick. Okay. Okay, and if you're just starting out, that's like a good way to get up in there without uh, poking yourself in the eye, which is never fun. Okay, and then I just like to take a Q-tip and clean up any mistakes that I've made. I think I got a little bit right there. And I'll also go back like in with this brush then with no additional product and just kind of touch that up. And I'm actually I'm gonna grab just a little bit more of that brow bone color of the lilac color and just place that back in there in case we lost any intensity while blending. And then just take that same if I can find my brush, clean blending brush, and just drag that just along there just to make sure there's no jaggedy edges. Okay, you just dropped something. Oh well. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the lower lash line. And I'm using this. I'm just dropping stuff all over here. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm using the Scandal Eyes 24-hour water, waterproof hydrofuge in Paranoid Purple. It just looks like that. So... I am, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it in the waterline and under and then smudge it out. Okay, actually first I'm going to take a clean Q-tip and just run that on the waterline to pull anything from your, uh, from when you tight lined. Sometimes can transfer down. So I'm just going to run that in the waterline and... 
on the lower lash line. Okay, then I'm going to take this Eco Tools smudge brush and I'm going to go ahead and just smudge that out. Sorry, I keep looking down at my mirror and up at you. I'm just trying to make sure I'm actually in view. Okay, and then I'm going to take this brush and just kind of swipe it on here to get some color. And I'm going to drag it under my wing. Like that. And then just go back in and smudge, smudge, smudge. You never want jaggedy, harsh lines or like a gap between your lashes and your lash line, especially when you're using like the same color. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with a pencil brush like this. This is just um, one from Walmart, like a gift set around Christmas. And I'm going to go into this Petal Pusher palette again from Wet n Wild down to this definer shade. And it's just this really pretty, like sparkly purple color. I'm going to pick up quite a bit of that. And then I'm going to run that as well under the lash line over the top of that eyeliner and all the way up to the wing the same. And I know this looks probably really scary right now, but as you can see, once you get um, mascara, it always makes everything blend together and look a little bit better. Okay. Don't mind my weird faces. I'm just going to blend that out. And then I like to take this e.l.f. crease or contour brush and then just run that under there just to make sure it's all blended out. Then I like to go back with this brush into that brow bone color and then just kind of whoop, there's a hair on there, that's gross. Re highlight that inner corner. Make sure that those two colors come together nicely. Okay, so that's it for the eye look. Now I'm going to go ahead and curl my eyelashes with this um, e.l.f. eyeliner or eye, $1 eyelash curler. And I like to just tilt it up like that, pinch it a couple times, and then I release it up like that. And it just leaves you with a really nice curl. And then I'm going to go in first with the Colossal Cat Eyes Volume Express, and this is in the waterproof version. I like to use the waterproof version first because it really locks that curl in. And this one is really good at kind of like separating your lashes and it helps curl because it's got the curled wand here. The only thing I don't like is I always get it on my eyelid because it's a pretty watery eyelash or mascara. Okay, so that's. And then I go in with Almay's Get Up and Grow in very black or blackest black. Or the blackest one they have. <laughs> and go ahead and go over that one more time. Okay. And then the third one I use is the Revlon Lash Potion by Grow Luscious. And just put one more coat on. Like that. Okay. And then I go in with my, um, thanks to Emily Noel, Emily Noel 83 or 82, um, the Dis Lash Discovery by Maybelline. She's always raving on her channel about how this is the perfect bottom lash mascara, and she is so right. Okay. So, get that one. And then I usually just run that up through the top, too. Okay. Then a good tip for when you get mascara on yourself, don't try to rub it away instantly. Wait for it to dry and get a Q-tip and then just... Voila! It's gone. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's everything. I, one thing, on my cheeks I have 
um, the Rimmel ca Autumn Catwalk. And then I just put a little bit of Benefits Cha Cha Tint over it. And then my highlight, which is you can see, is the is Benefits Sunbeam. So that's what I'm wearing today. Um, if you have any other questions, like I said, leave them down below and I will answer them as soon as possible. I hope you guys enjoyed this look and have a wonderful day.